Hi, Cerisperus here, back with another Anti Intervention doing a minus four video, episode 37. And you can see, well, I'm up to E16 infinity points. Even a little more than that. I got these upgrades and the doublers. But I've saved the more exciting upgrades for now. So there's this one, which means I'll be able to get more eighth dimensions. And then there's I can get Oh no, it scales. Why does it scale? The end game is already like right here. <laughs> oh, that's so disappointing. I thought I was gonna get like three of those upgrades. No, I get one. And this is gonna put everything just a lot more out of reach, unfortunately. I can get these two upgrades. And that's about it. Like, what else do I, can I do? I get my, I'll, I'll see all my big crunch auto buyer and also the Tixie boost and Dimension boost auto buyer just to see how far I can get and everything. I mean, maybe I'll be able to get more since, you know, more eighth dimensions. I mean, is this even a new record of antimatter? No. I'm still 100 orders of magnitude away. I mean, okay. The Dimension boost thing is still here for some reason. No idea what causes it. I mean, this here didn't work. I really do not know what causes that. And it, it, it makes a big difference. Maybe it's one of these galaxy upgrades. Who knows? Like, maybe something that boosts dimension boosts. I mean, this is based on galaxy points, though. It's like, we don't lose our galaxy points. It's, it's so weird. But... Yeah, like, what else is there? The new dimension is far away. The new challenge is also far away. I guess I just keep grinding infinity points, except there's no upgrades other than this one, which is a very weak upgrade as it is. I mean, I guess I can see how far I can get, but it's not going to be anything significant. Like, what I'll do here is I will... Set this to just one, and then have that bulk buy. Oh, same with the tick speed boosts. Um, let's do this, and I mean, yes, I can have it like that, but I'm just so far away from the next meaningful thing that I feel like I have reached the end game. Like, look at the statistics. E13 and Fendi points per minute, almost E14. I've heard that the farthest that people get in New Game Minus 4 is about E19 and Fendi points after a week of non stop grinding infinity points. That is about 10,000 minutes, or four orders of magnitude of minutes. According to this, with my current gain, I'd be getting. Maybe, like in a week, I could get 8e17. We throw in a doubler, now it's 1.6e18. Throw in another doubler, now it's 3.2e18. And you can see that's very close to e19. I feel like I've actually reached the end of New Game Minus 4. I know. But there's, there's nothing else I can really do. Like, I looked at achievements. I guess there's like, I can't even do anti-tables, which is dumb. I can't do this one. Maybe enemy will be possible, but, you know, I don't think that's actually going to be possible. I mean, well, okay. Let's go look at our challenge record. Okay, it is probably possible, but its reward is meaningless. That's the problem. And there's nothing I can do here. Nothing I can. No new galaxy upgrades. Just no, no crazy stuff here. I really do think I have. We see, and also here, I just dimension boosted. And now I have a new antimatter record. Hooray! I can cross E3000. That's kind of meaningless, but I guess that's something I can do here. But, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna see how far I can get and then come back and then try to optimize for infinity point gain. And then, you know, after that, I will go back 
if you get the E17, E18 doublers, maybe you can get um, two last upgrades. This one and this one. I guess there is this E19. Interesting upgrade that I could possibly grind for. And that's probably the series right there. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back like two weeks later, and this is how far I've gotten. I mean, okay, it's not anywhere really that close to the next challenge. However, this is definitely farther than, like, I think my previous record was like E2900. Yeah, this is 500 additional orders of magnitude. I mean, I do feel like it is actually possible to get to this next challenge if we make use of this upgrade and this upgrade as well. And I guess every infinity dimension thing I can get, you can see I can actually, if I want, I can export my save here and see if dimension, no, dimension boosting does not help in this case. This is why I exported my save, so I can just import it like this, because we can get more infinity points this way. Because, yeah, infinity point doubler, 4e15. I mean, yeah, not, not much really has happened. The thing is that doing these long runs actually allows me to do another thing, which allows me to actually take advantage of this boost without it glitching and not being, and just like not getting the boost. So I feel like maybe it is best to just go on these longer runs possibly i don't know i mean the problem is that like this run is going to be not much better than last run like i just want to grind all the way up to i think the best all the way up to like e18 so i can get that doubler plus crucially this upgrade um i feel like what i should do now is actually go for um optimal infinity points per minute so this, of course, I should crunch and see how much I can get. Um, okay, that was 79. So I will put that under automation. 79. And that crunch, just see if 79 is actually good here. Okay, I should probably do a little less here. You can see there is that delay. So that's why I don't want to go 79. I should just do it here. Um, yeah, 76. That was what I had here have here so 76 um, and it looks like I'm still not able to get the next galaxy um, what's that that was 16 okay it's 145 actually that that's quite a bit more than before um, so I mean that's something so um, actually no there I got 13 galaxies there so actually is possible to up this to 13. I, there may be that good dimension boost that may help me more. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do that, though. Um, I mean, of course, I could just do it manually, but... Um, I mean, it, it helps, but it's not that much of a... It's kind of like holding M. It's like a 15-20% boost. Um... I think the best thing to do here is just to automatic crunch at about, that's about 1.5 E13. Yeah, it seems like about what I had he, here. Um, I could just hold M just to try to get the the this upgrade to work better so I can get like E14 per minute. I mean, that's actually decent. Like, that's really not bad because if I, like, just am offline for weeks or something, um, with just, just one E14 per minute, let's just round to that. If I can, like, one day, that's about E17 if it actually works. Um, and one week, that's about E18. Two weeks, two E18. If I get a dub the doubler, that will actually allow me to get up to, um, Actually, with this, it's almost like 2E17 a day. So it's like five days will allow me to get to E18. With the doubler, then it's going to be five days of 2E18, which means in four weeks I could get to E19. And 
that possibly, I mean, I'm not sure how powerful this is going to be, but I feel like that possibly could give me that final push I need. So I, I honestly think I should just do another long run just because I don't want the boost to like bug out for some reason. So yeah, I'm just going to disable honestly just all of my automation here. Um, and yeah, see you in a bit.